Hey everyone, Ramel here, and today I'll be doing a quick unboxing and giving you guys my initial impressions on this iPad. Um, this is the seventh generation 32 gigabytes in space gray, and I got this for free. I ordered a MacBook Pro 16 inch from Apple last week, which I received on Monday. And to my surprise, there was another package along with it. And when I opened it, it was this iPad, um, as well as a blue smart cover. Um, it was addressed to me, um, had all of my information, which is why I opened it. If it wasn't addressed to me, I probably would have brought it back downstairs. But since it was addressed to me and all of that, I opened it and it was the iPad. I even unboxed it because I was pretty excited. At first, I thought it was from my wife. And then my second thought was it might be from work because the smart cover was blue. Um, but no for both of them. I looked through my email to make sure that I didn't order an iPad by accident and that I didn't accidentally add it to my MacBook order. But yeah, I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, but the web order ID on the iPad matched the web order ID for my MacBook Pro. Um, and that was like the biggest clue that it was an Apple mistake. Um, so I decided to give them a call and let them know that I received this iPad out of nowhere. I told them that all of my information and everything on the box was addressed to me, which is why I opened it and which is why I started using it. The guy was very confused as well as to what happened. Um, and they're looking into it a little bit more. He said it was okay that I started using it as well. Um, but he was honestly just really very helpful um, to try and sort this out, but he forwarded it to a different department and I got an email and I sent them some photos of the box as well as the iPad and all of that stuff. And I'm just waiting to hear back um, what the next steps are. Um, and as much as I'd like a free iPad, um, I know if I was on Apple's side, I probably would want to know that I accidentally sent out an iPad to someone that wasn't expecting one. And maybe this is meant for someone else and they'll get a stripping notification that it's been delivered and they'll be like, where's my iPad? Um, so I just really wanted to help lessen that confusion and let Apple know. And yeah, I mean, if they find out anyways, they'll probably just disable the iPad. So there's no really point for me trying to keep it or try not to let anyone know that I did receive an iPad and it's just the right thing to do. So yeah, I'm just waiting to hear back. But in the meantime, I have been using it and I have been setting it up. Anyways, let's get to the unboxing. Inside the box, we have the iPad, the lightning cable, and the USB power adapter. And you have the typical Apple documentation that you receive with any of their products. This is the 32 gigabyte model in space gray. And honestly, this is probably what I would have ordered if I was to get an iPad. It has the Apple A10 processor, and I think it's two gigabytes of RAM. I looked online and I really didn't find how much RAM this had on Apple's website. Um, but on the third party websites, it says that it is um, two gigabytes. So this also has two cameras, one on the back and one on the front. The back you have the eight megapixel camera, and on the front you have a 1.2 megapixel FaceTime HD camera. These are definitely things I probably would never use on a tablet besides when I need to call anyone. So these don't really matter too much to me. The setup itself was very easy and straightforward. Um, I used my iPhone to make the setup process a little bit easier. I also set up Touch ID and imported my Apple Pay information. And that was all very easy to do without much trouble. And yeah, this is one of those things where I really wasn't expecting to purchase or to have. Um, iPad is one of the Apple products along with the watch that I do not personally own. I've owned a MacBook since 2008 and I use a MacBook Pro now. And like I said, I just picked up the 16 inch MacBook Pro to replace my, two fifth, or to replace my uh, 2015 MacBook Pro. And yeah, I've been on and off the iPhone, but it is something that I have used and I'm currently using right now still. And yeah, I just haven't found a real use case for my needs for an iPad. I have my MacBook, I have my phone, and I have my PC, and all of that pretty much covers everything that I need. The only thing that I got excited for when I looked at the iPad is like, oh, I can probably watch anime and Netflix a little bit easier um, and read my mangas and manwas, but that's pretty much it. And maybe play Hearthstone, but I don't really know what else I would use an iPad for. Um, the only, the biggest benefit and why I wanted to purchase one for my wife is 
for our daughter. Um, she has been trying to explore her creativity a little bit more and she has been drawing and painting with my wife. So I thought that maybe an iPad would be good for her with an Apple pencil. So she can just draw on it and play around with it um, and just draw as much as she wants, um, pretty much. And yeah, she's only two, but I thought it would be a pretty fun experience for her. I haven't gotten an Apple pencil yet and I probably won't because I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this. And if I do keep it, then maybe I will get an Apple pencil and do a more in-depth review of the iPad. But for now, it's been really great for the stuff that I've used it for. I mean, I'm sorry this is pretty short. And um, yeah, I thought it was just pretty funny that I received an iPad that I didn't order. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys wanna see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna get onto more product reviews going forward and still gonna mix it up with some programming as well as other types of videos. I have quite a bit of backlog that I need to get through. Um, so hopefully you guys will see more product reviews. I still have the MM710 Viper Mini. I have the Keychron K2 and I have a bunch of these parts that I got from KBD fans um, ready to go. I still need to order keycaps, but yeah, hopefully you guys will see a keyboard video from me soon. And yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys know when that content is out. And I have been cutting back on my streaming a little bit. I do stream mostly just on Saturdays now. I've been pretty busy throughout the week, so I haven't really streamed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But when I do stream, it's mostly Saturdays. Um, I am trying to get back into more sim racing as well as starting to play a little bit of Sea of Thieves, but I got a little hooked on Osu or Os, um, and I did. I will be picking up a new tablet. I've been using my wife's tablet that she got back when we were in 12th grade. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do more videos on that as well. And if you guys just wanna chat, don't forget to hit the Discord. It's gonna be linked in the description below, but that's gonna be it for me. I am out.